I'm gonna show you how to make a simple tent tarp camper that costs under $30. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna put it to the test against the windy terrain of Guanella Pass to see if it can hold up against the gusty terrain at the base of one of the tallest mountains in the state. You see, I love sleeping in my truck. It's flat, dark, I get to wake up to beautiful scenery, Okay, I've only slept in a Walmart parking lot once, but I have one problem with my truck. I'm too big for the five foot bed. It's super trendy to convert the whole back of your truck into a half decked drawer system and a, a bed on top, but I don't really wanna do that. I like storing stuff in my truck. I can fit all of my supplies and if I'm doing stuff around town, it's really handy. So I came up with this design. My main objectives for the project were that it had to be waterproof, wind resistant, so it doesn't just flap, flap, flap in the wind, and it had to be affordable and pretty easy to do. And for the supplies, I kept things pretty simple. For the build, first I wanted to see what I was working with, so I bought this tarp from Walmart and just kind of laid it out against the truck and saw how big it was. The main thing I wanted to do with this tarp was see if it would fit and then ultimately cut out these side panels, which is what you can see here. I'm marking where I'm gonna cut so that there's not all this excess fabric, which would lead to wind issues and just be a little bit too bulky. This is the piece ultimately that I want to cut out. And so with that, I brought it inside and, and got to cutting. It was a fairly rough drawing, so I was a little bit nervous to do this, but I thought I would start with one side, put it up against the truck, see how it worked, and then go from there on the other side. Needless to say, I'm not a sewer, or should I say needleless to say, which is coming up. <laughs> um, but I had to lo watch a lot of tutorials on how to sew, and I ended up coming into quite a few snags. So I don't know if you can see that, but the needle tip broke. Um, so I might need a thicker or stronger needle. I don't really know. I think this tarp was just so thick to sew against and this machine didn't have the most heavy duty needles. So it resulting in me breaking not one, but two needles throughout this whole process. But I just kind of kept it at it, kept it fairly slow, trying to you know keep the thread pretty taut and just make sure that that uh, stitch is fairly in line. I have to admit this process was fairly frustrating because the needle would break and then I would have to retie it and go back, but you know, eventually we got the job done. Now, I know a pool noodle was in the ingredients, so we're gonna keep that a surprise for now, but it's coming up. I attached all the guy lines around the tarp and these were just simple paracord that I got from Walmart again. I tied a fairly basic rock climbing knot because that's about all I know how to tie. So the last step for this project was to seam weld the seams and I got this two-part epoxy sort of substance from REI. I first stirred it up and then just put it over the seams. This is so that water doesn't get through those little seam holes. I think if I'm making this again, I would cut the excess fabric off so, so I can weld over the fabric in addition to the seams. Now all that there was left to do was take it to the blustery climbs of Guanella Pass and put this thing to the test. Guanella Pass is a very windy pass located between a 13,900 foot mountain square top and Beardstadt, which is a 14er right next to it. And there's a road which obviously gets just crazy weather going through there. I thought it would be a great place to test the tarp. I pulled off the side of the road and found a place where I could actually hammer in some tent stakes without damaging the landscape and got to setting up the tent. You can see the pool noodles up here. I cut the pool noodles on one side so I could put it over the topper because that was a little bit of a sharp edge and I wanted a rounded edge so that it doesn't damage the tarp. As you can see, it was pretty windy out there today. I had to wrestle the tarp a fair bit to get it lined up. I think I might do some color coding the next time I take this out so it's a little bit easier and I can actually tell where the specific place is, uh, the corner that I was trying to line up. But, you know, once I got the corners lined up, it was fairly easy to set up. Probably only took a couple minutes at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, it went over the tailgate just fine. It fit well and then I hammered in the stakes and, you know, I wanted a lot of extra cord just in case um, I needed to stake it further away from the tent or closer. But I just did a very simple clove hitch, which is adjustable while it's tied um, so that I could, you know, tighten it down or loosen it up depending on what I needed. 
did that all the way around, tying clove hitches the whole way, and that was the tarp. As you can see, you know, it kind of formed this vacuum. Wind was blowing against it that way. I think if I was sleeping somewhere where it wasn't really windy, I would either point it against the wind so that it wouldn't kind of push in because that might cause some like waterproofing issues. But I was pretty pleased with the result. You can see the, the sides of the tarp. Water's not going to get my feet wet from that. It's not gonna enter that area. There's a little bit of excess fabric and baggage up top, but I, I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue when I actually take this thing out. And the other side was also good, uh, so I guess I lined it up right. Overall, I was pretty pleased. It's a really simple build and it's gonna keep me dry. So that is the DIY truck tarp topper tent thing. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you later.